Hi guys, I'm Taylor Hull here with another episode of Asphalt Anarchy. Um, since the last time you've seen us, I've been tearing apart the drift car. Finally kind of got some motivation on that now. So there's not a whole lot left here. See everything on the front, all the body work, the motor's out. About to back, go back up to uh, Sam Daffron to get rebuilt. Worked great all year. But I'm uh, just going to throw some rings and bearings in there. Just preventative maintenance before next year. Got all the all the rear body work off. You see this nice uh, kiss that Sloan gave me when we were filming the T-Rex episode. So got to beat that back out. Um, got the rear window out and the rear radiator. Funny story. Had all my uh, tires stacked up behind this car. Heard a really loud noise at night one night. Came back down and my plexiglass rear window had a robust wheel stuck through the back of it. So get to rebuild that now. Um, other than that. Here's some other things for the supercharger. Um, been doing a little bit of work on the duster also. Um, you see, I finally got my shock mounts and everything done on the front end. The steering linkage is hooked up now, so it actually, even though I don't have a steering shaft, I can load the car and not have wheels point opposite directions and do all that fun stuff by myself. So they actually turned together. Um, got the, the Penske shirt, or excuse me, Pro Shocks um, mounted up. So, pretty pumped about this. This thing's made a lot of progress and not a lot of time, and really looking forward to it. These these bars go all the way through to the A post of the roll cage, so this should be super strong. I'm gonna end up doing like a, a tower support and some other things here, but made a lot of progress on this. And today we will be trying to fit the motor and trans in here, or a motor and trans in here. It won't have the drift car motor and trans probably, but we're gonna put one in here and see what we can do. Get him some Zaxby's. Okay, there you go. So now we're back from lunch and uh, we're ready to get started. Got everything set up and we're gonna procrastinate a little more and go do some dirt road anarchy. In that, should be fun. Turn. What is down there? At least this truck has four by four. No, it doesn't. It doesn't? No. <laughs> I thought it did. What is this? Is this somebody's house? That is somebody's house. Oh, well, may have to go to my other dirt road spot. <laughs> Jump on the railroad tracks. This ain't Dukes a hazard. That is no trespass. That's that way, though. This is no hunting, either. That is a house. There's, there's a car over there, a truck. An old, old Ford. That's a house. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that's where you go to die. Yeah. That is where the Texas Chainsaw Massacre actually happened. <laughs> In Georgia. <laughs> what the hell? Uh, My truck entered anti-drift mode. <laughs> We gotta un unplug one of the wheel speed sensors. It's very hard to tell if anybody's coming. <laughs> it does not get out there at all. <laughs> I'm gonna call this a semi success, but not what I'd hoped for. You know, you, do you know any pro drifters that might know how to no. how to really get it out there? No. Gonna slap a tree. It's too big. Yeah, way too big. That's what she said. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
just taking the motor mounts off so that we can clear and see what all we're going to have to cut out when we get to that point. I made an executive decision to uh, make my life easier. We didn't make a whole lot of progress today. We got distracted trying to do other stuff with the F-350 and all that. So sorry about that. But uh, it's time to do the my car list. My car list then and now. Um, I'm going to do a Mustang GT that I had in high school, uh, kind of the end of high school and into college. I had a 2000 bright red Mustang GT. It had basic bolt-ons. I think it had what they call like a typhoon intake, had a throttle body, pulleys, cold air, 373 gears. It was a just a regular 4.6 Mustang GT5 speed, um, lowered Cobra R wheels, just real basic stuff. It was not nearly as fast as I thought it was at the time, but uh, that was also the car that I got my worst ticket in ever. Um, I was driving up 85 North in Charlotte and dropped from fifth to fourth and sped around the 18 wheeler to get off on my exit and I got a call in the middle of it so like a responsible adult I pulled over to check my phone because you don't text and drive or answer your phone while you drive and in the process of me being stopped a very nice gentleman pulled up behind me and blue lighted me and he gave me a ticket for allegedly going 93 and a 60 Reckless driving, failure to maintain lane, failure to signal properly, illegal window tent, illegal exhaust. So I also ended up getting a ticket like three weeks after that for 24 over while I was trying to follow somebody where I didn't know where I was going. But uh, those were probably my two worst tickets. Um, so that's uh, that was a good time. That one was two grand or so by the time it was all said and done. Um, sold the car not long after that. I think I had a total of like a year, maybe even a little less. I have no idea who I sold it to. I can't even remember that part. Um, I bought something else shortly after. I, I think that was maybe my Crown Vic. We'll get into that one next week. But um, yeah, hopefully, you know, we haven't talked a whole lot about what the, the real purpose for this thing is. We'll get into that in some later episodes, but hopefully I won't repeat any of those tickets in this thing. Um, but yeah, that's, that's kind of that car. It's gone, been gone for a long time, but Appreciate you guys watching. Please consider subscribing to the channel. Comment any kind of questions you have below. I'll love to answer them. And also, I'm going to be selling some t-shirts here shortly. So the next episode, we should have a link to that. And appreciate if you guys consider getting one. Thank you.